Hi, welcome to this demonstration. Collaborate is a new generation of agile automation tools for documentation, training and testing of ERP systems and web applications. Companies typically design business process documentation, create training materials and generate test documentation in different platforms. Even though these documents have a different purpose, their basis is exactly the same. However, if a business process changes, it is actually a lot of effort to replace these changes on training and testing deliverables. Here is where Qualibrate comes in. Qualibrate delivers a platform where business processes, training and testing are all in sync, at all times. During this demo we are going to see different modules of Qualibrate. This is a dashboard module with an overview of your projects. In the business model you can store your recorded business processes. We will do a new recording together to see how it works. This is the Qualibrate recording widget, which guides you through the recording with different options. For example, pause the recording or add a verification point. In the lower box of the widget, you can specify the business task name. And as you can see, I called the first task log on. Now I will log on to SAP. And every time you execute an action, you can notice the widget capturing it. You can see here in the widget the steps that have been performed on SAP. So what we're going to do now is create a quotation using transaction code VA21. Now I will fill in some details regarding the quotation. I can also add a verification point on every action I want. For example, let's add a verification point on a net value of 2600 euros. This is particularly useful while doing a manual execution to ensure that the intended checkpoint has been reached. Now I will save the quotation in SAP. Now that the quotation is saved in SAP, we receive a pop-up asking me if I would like to insert a validation point at this step. I will now view the quotation in SAP. And since that is a different business task, I will change the task name to View Quotation. All the steps that I'm performing right now in SAP will be stored under View Quotation task. So the last step for this recorded business process is to log off from the SAP system. And I will end the recording. Here is what the recorder puts together. The tasks that we recorded as login are grouped in this box. This is what we call a business process. Now I will save the recording to the web platform. And I will give the recording a name. Now I'm back at the web platform and I will open the recording. This is the main detail step for information about the business process. Here in the flow sequence, we can see the recording that we created, including screenshots. Okay, so we did a recording of a business process in SAP with the Qualibrate recording widget. Then we uploaded the business process to the Qualibrate platform and we viewed the business process in the flow sequence. So the first thing we will do now is we'll use the recording to start training. This is how the training simulation works. On the left you have the steps of the business process and on the right a screenshot. From an organization's perspective, if there's a new employee who doesn't know how the process works, I can just easily log into the web platform and I can start up a training simulation and see here all the steps. So this is a training simulation of the application. There is also a training log tab that stores the training execution details, for example who did the training and when. So now we have seen the training simulation and we will now perform a manual test on this process. Qualibrate has an innovative approach towards manual testing which makes it a semi-automated test. On the right side we have the business process that we recorded and some actions we can do on it. So the first step says connect to the SAP system. I can either do it myself or I can click the do it for me button. And then I mark it as passed. Let's say I don't know where to enter my password. 
Then I can use the show me option and it will highlight the field. Let's say if an action fails, I can click on the Field button. You can add a description and assign it to a business process owner. And there is also the option to add a screenshot. I will mark this for now as passed and continue with the demo. I will press the Do it for me option and the Ship to Party field is filled in automatically. Also the material, the quantity. A verification of the status bar is to make sure that we have saved the quotation and that the quotation number has been created. I will now complete the test and close the menu execution. Once I have completed the menu execution, I can find the log in the execution log tab with the details of the execution. The gear icon depicts where the do it for me was used to perform the action. The person icon is shown when it has been performed manually. Pressing show hide reveals more technical details of the step. Coming to the defects module, you can see the defect that I raised has also been created. So now we've seen the training simulation and the manual test. Now I'll perform an automated execution of the process. It will prompt with an error if a step fails and suggests creating a defect. Like what you saw during the manual execution. As you can see it opens up SAP automatically and perform the create quotation. Now that the test automation is finished, we can see the results of the execution in automated log tab. You can also execute the same automated scripts for multiple iterations. I can use the same script to validate different data instead of creating a new recording. I will change the material for this one. Once I have the iterations added, I can use it during execution of different tests. I have the execution schedules module to schedule tests. I will create a new execution set, give it a name, then add the test that I wish to run to set and provide the iteration's name. I also have the option to schedule manual executions in this module. So if I want to perform an execution overnight, I can schedule it in this module and it will run unintended. Ok, I think I showed you the main parts of Qualibrate. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can contact us through www.qualibrate.com or find us on social media.